Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys everything that I purchased for the 21 days of beauty. Yes, I went ham on this sale guys. I don't know if it's because of the quarantine messing up with my brain and I've been just shopping away online. Basically, if you guys do not know what the 21 days of beauty is, it's a sale that goes on at Ulta. I'm not sure if it's once or twice a year, um, but they have like big name brands like 50% off if I'm not mistaken I think that's like the usual sell 50% off and you get to try a lot of different brands a lot of different products or you get to restock so that's also a good time to restock on the items that you love but you don't love a price tag on it so it's a really good time to do that I personally already had in mind everything that I wanted to buy on the 21 days of beauty so I made sure that I put a reminder or that I kept an eye on the date to make sure that I purchased them on time. Since most of the stores were closed or all of the stores were closed, most of the stuff was gonna be online. So yes, there were gonna be a lot of stuff that was gonna be selling out quickly and shipping is an issue as well. I wanted to make sure that I got free shipping every single time and they had this thing where the minimum at the beginning of the sale was $15. So you would spend $50, you would qualify for free shipping. But then later on, or the second half of the sale, they raised it up to $35. Most of the things that I got were from the sale of the 21 days, but I also picked up some items to receive free shipping. To me, it makes just more sense to spend the money on a product than on shipping because I pay, I don't like paying for shipping, guys. I hate paying for shipping on this. I absolutely have to. I will. So I'm going to start with the stuff that were part of the 21 Days of Beauty and then I'll let you guys know what items were not part of the 21 Days of Beauty that I had to purchase in order for me to have free shipping. Um, but enough talking, I'm gonna get started. So the first two things that I got were the Murad, Murad um, skincare collection. So this one is the Environmental Shield. It's Essential C Cleanser, energizes skin and helps remove environmental impurities. And then the back says, formulated with vitamin A, C, and E, this energizing cleansing gel helps remove pollution and other impurities without over drying skin. So if you guys don't know this about, I think I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, I have really, really dry skin. So every time I look for a cleanser, I try to look for one that is not just cleaning my skin, but also moisturizing my skin. So I decided to pick this up. I have tried this before in a Nipsey bag. I got like the little tiny baby travel size and it was awesome. I loved it. So whenever I finished that and I checked online how much this was, this is $60. I was, um, I don't think so. It's 60 or 50, I don't remember, but this is an expensive mama. Like, this is really expensive. Um, the only good thing about me getting this not only half off was that I was not expecting this size. This bottle is huge. You could tell they really, really filled every little crevice of this bottle. It feels heavy and it's big. I don't know if in camera you can pick up how big this is, but in real life, like this, this is huge. Um, I didn't know that they were gonna put this on the 21 Days of Beauty. I was kind of shocked actually, because it's such like a high-end skincare collection. So when I saw it, I had to get it. Um, so I picked this one up, and since I needed more to get free shipping, I picked up the exfoliator. I've never tried this one, um, but I read the description and I really liked what it said and the reviews were also really good. So it says, um, it's a Murad Hydration AHA and BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. It says exfoliates to reveal smoother, younger looking skin. And then in the back it says intensive triple action exfoliator with a blend of salicylic lactic and glycylic acids polishes away dual dry skin without irritation reveals smoother texture and brighter younger looking complexion so i got this one too again because of the free shipping situation and as well as the reviews like i said before i have really dry skin and sometimes exfoliators can over dry my skin so i try to use exfoliators that are also very hydrating or that are not too stripping of the skin. So I read good reviews on this one, so I picked this one up too to try it, especially because this one's also another $60 item. So I just decided to pick it up for half of that price. So these are the first two things on the list. 
And sticking with skincare, I also picked up this Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty or Fab. This is another brand that I really, really like their skincare collection. I've tried their cleansers and I'm currently using so, like their toner wipes, which are pretty good and really hydrating. They make my skin look really plump and fresh. I really like this brand. And it says it's safe for sensitive skin. Um, I've tried their face. I don't know if it was a face cream then because it didn't look like this. This one has like a little mousse pump. I've never tried uh, the cream that looked like this, but I tried the other one that was in a squeezy tube and that one was really good too. So I just decided to pick it up and again, the reviews on this were amazing. Okay guys, so the next thing that I got, um, I went a little bit excessive on this. Let me explain a little bit. So these are the, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> these are the Kylie High Glosses um, I ordered for uh blame it on the free shipping because i needed to spend 35 so your girl went ham and got all of them but well not all of them i was missing two more but these are four of her glosses and i also picked up a liquid um velvet lipstick so i have never tried kylie's brand i've never tried i haven't tried anything of her brand i haven't tried not a single eyeshadow not a single brush not a single lipstick nothing like that so I decided to pick these up to try them. And these were all half off. Her glosses, her high glosses, her regular glosses, her lipsticks, and her lip, like liquid lipsticks as well. I don't know how many formulas she has, but most of them, if not all of them, were on sale that day. So I just picked up enough to get free shipping. And um, I decided to get more of her lip glosses because I feel like that's the hardest thing to get wrong. Um, so I didn't want to be disappointed on them and get like all different lipsticks and also the shades online are not very good like it, it shows you a certain color like for example this one so I got Savage and on the website it looked a little bit pinkier and like browner shades online are always very deceiving they smell very sweet. I'm not fond of sweet scents. Like I don't like vanilla, cinnamon, or anything like that. Hope the smell doesn't stay in your lips that long. But I picked up this one and her glosses. Like I said, I feel like lip gloss, it's very hard to not get right. So I just decided to pick these up. And I love lip glosses, especially right now during the summer. I know I have nowhere to go, but I still like wearing them. So I just decided to just pick them up and uh, in most of the shades so i decided to grab like i said all four of them so so the ones that i got were snatched clear always shining and diva so i'm gonna swatch them for you guys and i'm gonna insert the video so you guys can see them up close smell exactly like the velvet lipstick um so i'm really really hoping that it doesn't stay in my lips as long not that i mind it 100 percent like i can live with it it's just a little bit harder because i don't like the smell okay so the next thing that i picked up is the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade 35 n medium so i had tried this before when it first first launched and i remember every time i would go they were always sold out so i ended up getting a very light shade compared to my like skin tone i decided to grab one that was more in my skin color that way i can use it more as an everyday like no makeup day instead of using foundation i can just use that to cover my under eyes and like my little pimples and then go about my day so this is the other item that i purchased this was like 12 dollars, if not cheaper the same price as some of the drugstore concealers out there so i just decided to grab this one since i already know that i really like it okay so the next thing that i got was the Too faced chocolate longwear matte bronzer um the one that i use right now is the hula benefit one and it's almost out since i saw that this was on sale i just decided to give this a try and the reviews online are really really good so i grabbed this one i don't know if chocolate is the shade 
because it honestly doesn't say anything else aside from that so i'm guessing that's the shade color i can't remember i just grabbed one that was like medium to deep skin so this is the one that i grabbed and this is how it looks inside um the packaging is so pretty and it's very heavy as well it's gold i really liked it I've, like i said i've never tried this bronzer before and i have never also tried anything from too faced the only thing that i've tried is their um born this way foundation that's the only thing i've tried and i also read really really good stuff on the reviews and then the next thing that i picked up was the it superhero mascara so this mascara i received the travel size again in my ipsy bag and i really really liked it i have really small eyelashes so every time that i find a good mascara i stick to it this one is a really good one the it mascara it's the one that i'm wearing right now in my eyes as you can see i have really small eyelashes but you can really see them like this mascara defines each particular one and that's what i like because i rarely use falsies i actually i never wear falsies and i'm really bad at applying falsies so i just always like good mascaras so once i tried this one the little travel size i'm like i need to get the big one and when i saw the calendar and saw that this was part of the sale i bought this at 12 a.m so this is how the little mascara looks like and i'm just gonna use this one whenever i'm out of the little small one so the things that i'm gonna show you next are the items that were not part of the 21 days of beauty but i decided to grab for the free shipping um most of these are really good stuff and stuff that i use anyways so i just decided to just pick them up for that free shipping because like i said your girl does not pay for shipping so the first thing that i got is the the morphe Sweet peach by Sweetie, and i sprayed this earlier and it smells like fake peach it doesn't smell like real peach but i mean i wasn't expecting for peaches to come out of the bottle um it's bearable like the scent doesn't smell really bad and it fades away really fast so if you don't like fragrance in your stuff um you can probably get away with just spraying this once the only thing is that when i sprayed this i don't know if it's a defective one or if it's just because it's new the spray when it started spraying it was very like it was very glitchy I, i'm pretty sure it's because it's new but it, it felt like that but it's still very continuous the mist is still very fine which is what i like in in sprays and the only size they sold was the small one and that was kind of perfect i use a face mist as a setting mist so i still have a lot of that so i didn't need one but i saw that there was a new setting mist so i decided to just pick it up and also the colors are really pretty next thing that i got are the ulta beauty mini sponges so i guess this balance when i saw the murad products that were so big i guess this kind of evens everything out because i thought these were big sponges and turns out they're the mini ones nowhere did i read in the description that these were minis so when i got them i was like uh, 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 like i couldn't believe it but um the reviews were really good so that's a good sign all the reviews were saying that these were really good that they blended everything well i don't know what i'm gonna use this for i mean i can use it on my eyes and stuff like that but i really like the normal size sponges so i was kind of bummed out but i mean i can Put a good use to this anyways but this is the other thing that i got and then the next thing was this ulta beauty sweet apple foaming hand soap I smelled it already and it smells really really good it's very sweet and fruity which is what i like in fragrances so i picked this one up and i like the foaming formula i usually use the bath and body works one the foam the foaming hand soaps so i just decided to give this one a try as well and then the next thing i got was this ulta beauty just a regular sharpener it didn't even cross my mind it's just a regular sharpener little two holes and it keeps a little trash inside and finally the last thing is this camel concealer sponge from elf so I had been seeing a lot, of, a lot of reviews on these on YouTube and saw that a lot of girls were using this with their concealers. And I have both of the e.l.f. concealers, the regular one and the hydrating one. And I saw that everybody was saying that once you apply the concealer with this sponge, it's like a real game changer. And since I needed those $5 for free shipping, I just decided to grab this. Um, it looks promising. And, and if you guys haven't seen my video, for my February favorites, I tried the e.l.f. sponges and they're really, really good. So I hope it really works as well as everyone says.
okay guys well that is it for today those were all the things that i purchased for the ulta haul um i did purchase some more stuff from sephora and from Dose of Color. So I'm probably going to combine those two and make one video to, to let you guys know everything that I bought from those two websites. I hope this video brings you a little bit of distractions with everything going on. And I hope this video finds you well. Um, just know that you're not alone in this and that we will get through this and just keep a positive mindset. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys watch my previous videos. That way you guys can keep up with all the videos. I'll see you guys later.